All right, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is Adrian, and we're gonna attack today. Uh, <clears throat> actually, we're gonna pretty much redo our last tutorial where we saw how we can actually migrate uh, on premise MySQL database onto Amazon RDS MySQL. So, this time, what we're gonna do instead of having all that mumbo jumbo scripting and shell scripts and running MySQL down. Since I'm a NiFi geek, what I'll do, I'll use NiFi to orchestrate my database replication from local to Amazon RDS. So, how do we do that? Let's go ahead. I already have one created. I had a workflow created. Created. Sorry, guys. And this is pretty much how we do it. We generate the full file. Uh, pretty much, I just want one, one uh, flow file. In a pipeline, and then I use execute string command. Two execute string command. So one execute string command will you be creating the dump, and we'll passing all the commands argument, and the second one will do the import. So we'll run the MySQL command. Pretty much, well, it's pretty much logging into the database, but the flow file will will be sent as the content to that connection. So let me clear this here, because this is uh, from an old execution. And what we'll do, instead of actually running this one, uh, actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna run it. So the database that I choose in this case, because a lot of people say, yeah, you know, it's a small database. So we choose a database called Vertica, and this Vertica database carries it carries a table, single table, so it carries a table called Vertica DB Schema Growth. So if we do a count on it, this one probably has a couple thousand rows. Yeah, it has 34,000 rows. It's not big, but we'll do for our demo. So this is the command, pretty much similar to what we did. Keep in mind to run this in execute string command when you provide him with arguments. All in a normal command would be something like this, uh, where you have a space. But in NIFI, you have to create this. Uh, you have to give one argument and then a comma uh, and then another argument and such and such until the end. And then what I'll do, I'll import into the RDS. Uh, now you see my password here, one, two, three, very difficult. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, by the time you, this demo will reach you guys, this instance will no longer be available. <clears throat> so let's run once. Actually, before we run, let's make sure that this database does not exist in the, uh, in the RDS instance. So show databases. And we can see there's no vertica. So what I'll do here, I'll just create one flow file and I'll put it in the pipelines here. Obviously the generate flow file has a schedule to run every 60 seconds. And I'm going to execute the execute string command. Now we see there's 1.4 megabytes already in the pipeline. If we go and list the queue, and we view it, obviously this is gonna take some time because how it's gonna to have to die. So you see we get a bunch of information here. Pretty much what we got in the dump. And now we're gonna execute the string command that's gonna pump data into RDS and we're gonna get an output. The original if you wanna keep it, otherwise you can remove it and an output stream. Uh, pretty much this output stream is used for uh, capturing any possible errors when you go to the attributes and you see the execution errors what are the execution errors in this case there's no execution error so we're going to close it and what we're going to do go back to our command line and run again show databases and voila we have a new database so use vertica uh, show tables all right so select count from schema goes so we got 
three, four, four, seven, one. What was the other one? Three, four, four, seven, one. So that's how pretty much you do. That's 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 the execution. So now let's go and build one from scratch. And I'll walk you guys through how it's done. We're gonna put this on the side. Limit the bit. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a generate profile. We're gonna jump into it and change this to 60 seconds because we don't want it to get a thousand million uh, flow files in our pipeline and we're going to do an execute stream command drag and drop execute stream command we're going to take a copy of this and paste it so copy and paste all right, so he's going to paste it multiple times. My system is a bit slow. All right, so let me remove this one, get the extra. Let's link the generate flow file on a relationship success. And let's jump into it. So first, what we say, we're going to run the MySQL dump. So what you want to do, you want to give the full path to the MySQL dump in the command path. Keep in mind, this MySQL dam has to be installed on your NiFi server. And then paste in the arguments, in my case. And apply. We're going to link this one to output stream. And we're going to add a log. Let's copy this one so I don't have to drag. We're going to add a log attribute so we can have the other um, flow file outputs directed to him. So no, no, uh, non zero status and original. In this case, original will be this value here. So in the so let's give it a name and say uh, egg extract extract dump and then here import dump great let's jump back into this one go to properties and in the and we'll do the same in we're going to provide it with the mysql client executable here and with the rest of the arguments where we have to point to the Maria endpoint and you have to point to the password you have to point to the port you have to point to the user keep in mind all of this can be done through parameters we could have pretty much import these parameters from a source and then display them as parameters instead of us having to hard code this but for the demo for the purpose of this demo we're just going to display like this and all right and now let's create the relationship non-zero status so we can see what's happening actually original and output stream if i were to run this run this right now the database it will fail because keep in mind we already have a database created in our rds called vertica so let's just for the for the fun of it let's just start we have one in in the pipeline run it the first one is going to execute successfully and you can see here let me just zoom in a bit so it executed successfully but the moment we're going to import it down this will give us an error and actually he didn't give us an error because i do believe in the header of the database it's a create already place so let's see yeah create if not exist use vertica yep so show databases use vertica and let's do a count on this one and yes you can see that we've had that populated uh and if you want to do something else on the fly and let's say i'm gonna go and drop the demo database that we have here drop database demo and go back into my flow file into my 
data float here and in the extract DOM, I can just say instead of vertica, do demo. And keep in mind, this can be fed through parameters and have this flow going non-stop, you know, I can manage it through a UI or anything else like that that will feed this information to it on any other system. So we can see that in a blink of an eye, this flow file, this data flow is finished. Let's jump into, into our database and see, we can see demo is back in. And use demo, show tables, Select everything from TV01. So, in a nutshell, what we've done, we use NiFi to actually migrate small databases from one side of the fence to another side of the fence into Amazon RDS using MySQL Dump. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, drop your comments, or if you have any recommendation for future tutorials, feel free to post in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.